Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my skincare routine and what I've been using over the past, I'd say six months. And I haven't done a video like this in a very long time. I'm almost 30 years old and I used to do these videos so much when I was in my early 20s, mid 20s, and I was really passionate about having acne and trying to clear it up and sharing products that I was using with you guys. But now that I'm older, things have changed. My skin is just older, it's different, and I actually don't really have acne. As you can see, my skin looks pretty good. This is the best skin that I've ever had in my life, and I don't have anything on my face. I just have on mascara and brows, and yes, my skin is uneven, but with having melanin, that is just a normal part of life. So I'm here to share with you my skincare routine. It is all back there. I definitely curate my products very carefully now that I'm not buying a lot of things and just really trying to hone in on what my skin needs, what kind of products like I think are necessary, and I practice intuitive skincare, which is a term that I just made up. I don't know if someone else has called it that, but it's like intuitive eating. You decide what you wanna eat, what your body needs. I don't stress about using like everything on my face during the day or during the night. If I'm just feeling cleansing my face and moisturizing, I do it and I don't beat myself up about not sticking to my skincare routine. Yes, my skin is different. I don't have acne anymore. That's probably why. If your skin is like mine and you were oilier, now you're getting a little bit older, my skin isn't really dry. It's more combination. I used to be so oily, avoiding anything super moisturizing, always wanting to exfoliate my skin to the max, but not really listening to it. So if you want to hear more about my skincare routine and see what I have going on, then let's get started. So for makeup remover, I have two here. They're both by Garnier. And the first one I purchased, found out I didn't really like it because it's not a dual acting makeup remover. And the second one is one that I've used before. This is the one for waterproof mascara but I only use these if I'm not showering that night. I actually try to remove my makeup in the shower with just a wet washcloth, basically kind of like the makeup eraser, but not because I just refuse to buy a $20 cloth to remove my makeup. And if I'm wearing a lot of eye makeup, then I will go in with this, but yeah, I just keep it simple. To cleanse my face, I actually have one cleanser that I wanna to talk to you guys about because I got this in a FabFitFun box. It's the Tula Probiotic Cleanser and it's almost empty. Like I can't believe that I really ran through this huge bottle. Michael does use it sometimes, but we keep this in the shower because it works really well with my little Foreo. It's only been in the shower for about two months. So for basically almost an entire year, I was using this. Um, just every single day and the cleanser that's out on this little tray is the drunk elephant bestie number no. nine jelly cleanser honestly it's not really my favorite it is really simple and the little squeezy tube is kind of cool this one came in a set that's why it's so small but honestly it's just I don't know it doesn't really lather up that much maybe that's something you like I prefer more of a lather I just feel like I need to use a lot of it but this is a pH balancing cleanser so if you're into that um, it is nice but it's not the most like lathering cleanser if you like that the eye cream that I've been using is by belief it's this tiny one this came in a set I got at Sephora and it's their moisturizing eye balm and this is just really simple it's like a gel type texture and I really like it does the job, very moisturizing. And during the winter time, my under eyes get very dry. This one on the left actually is more on the troublesome side than the right. I don't know why, thank goodness it's only one. But it also hasn't been snowing and it's not super dry. I know it's still dry outside, but it's not horrible like I'm used to in the past. Before that, I was using the Pharmacy Do It All. This came in a FabFitFun box. I honestly don't like the packaging. Um, it came down to the part where I was I don't know, having to scoop it out in a weird way because it's shaped like this. Um, but yeah, I'll still go back to it when this is all done because there isn't a lot in here. So I do wanna use things up. I don't like wasting product and it is nice. I mean, I didn't see any big differences. I really don't see too much change. Then again, I'm not even 30, I'm almost 30. So yeah, I can't really state any claims as far as you know, under eyes being lifted and 
visibly reduced wrinkles. The one eye cream that I've had for a while is the Tatcha Pearl, and this is one you strictly use during the daytime. I guess you could use it at night if you wanna like wake up looking really good. This is actually a little bit too light for me. I wish that I got the darkest shade because in the pot it looks like it's my shade, but when you put it on and blend it out, it does get a bit lighter. This looks really good under concealer. If I do use this under my eyes and then just use powder to even out my skin tone, because you can see the center of my face is a lot lighter. This is awesome because I just put on bronzer and I'm good to go. This product does confuse me because this is supposed to expire in six months, but I've had this for over a year and I'm only halfway through, probably not even. You use the tiniest amount. So, I don't know, I feel like they should be making this in a very small version and it is pricey, so it's very confusing to me. I have two essences. One I've had for a very long time. I only have it out because it's not expired. If I'm really not feeling the other one, I'll use it. And it's the COSRX Advanced Snail 96 Mucina Power Essence. And yes, this is snail. It's a little strange if you don't know about snail, but it's like a very jelly, gel texture. The one that I've had for about six months, probably even more, is the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence. This is 93% Bio Micro Ferment Complex. This is just an extra hydration step. I definitely make sure to put this on right when I get out of the shower to make sure that my skin is hydrated or if I'm really not feeling this, then I'll just spray my face with rose water. And I keep this conveniently on the shelf right over here. So when I get out of the shower, I can just quickly spray because you don't want your skin to dry out after 60 seconds of getting out of the shower. So it's either I go in with this or I go in with the rose water. And I just like having this extra essence step. I used to go really in with like the seven skin method and pat it on seven times with an older one, like probably four years ago. It does have some viscosity to it. Treatments are one of my favorite steps basically my favorite step in skincare because it's where you want all the work to happen. So this one I actually got in a Sephora like favorites bag. It's the Herbivore Prism. This has 5% natural fruit acid and it's basically an exfoliating potion and it's clear, which I like. I love little like dropper bottles and it's very pretty to look at. But I do think this does exfoliate a little bit too much. I don't know, there's something about this formula that does make my skin flake off. Like you can see my forehead has like, it looks like the Sahara basically. I stopped using this when I got this next one in the mail probably about a month ago. So this is the Josie Marin Argan Beta Retinoid Pink Algae Serum and this has 2% Pro Retinoid and Quercetin. If I'm saying that correctly. I do think that this is more gentle on the skin. That's one of the claims. And I can use this nights in a row. My skin doesn't get irritated and I really do think it's gentle. So with my aging skin, it's very important. I want to be able to wear makeup, but not look like dry and sad. However, I just listened to a podcast and they mentioned this product. It's the Biosense Squalene and Photo Phyto Retinol Serum. This is the first product of this brand I've ever used and this is something I got actually in the same exact little bag last year. And so I wanted to give it a try because it's supposed to visibly reduce lines and wrinkles, which I don't know, I don't really have that many. I have fine lines under my eyes, which I'm fine with. I've accepted it. I don't really care. I feel like everyone has them, unless it's just your eye shape and you're completely flat. Um, and then my smile lines, which I don't know, I like to smile, so I don't see those going away. So this one I'm still testing out, but like I said, I like to test out different formulas that are exfoliating because I just, have so much fun with these and I will finish this one up even though it's a little bit too harsh I do go back and forth um, but I did put it away so out of the three this is the one that I have out on my counter right now because I just wanted to give it a try I quickly wanted to talk about this serum this is the Ordinary's niacinamide and zinc and this was about like six dollars and it's all gone this is so affordable I think it's been a month since I stopped using this but Honestly, I hardly shop at Sephora and you can only get this online, so I haven't ordered it <laughs> and I'm trying other stuff out, but I definitely recommend this product for keeping breakouts at bay. It is so affordable and 
think it works. For moisturizers, I definitely like to try different things out. Last summer, I picked up this one from Glow Recipe. It's their Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer in this really cute wavy bottle. And this was awesome for the summertime because it's so light. It just doesn't interfere with my makeup that I wanna wear. So after this was done, um, I picked up this one, which is their Night Sleeping Mask. So I know this isn't the same product. This is honestly kind of weird. It has AHAs, so I'm like, okay, I'll go for it. I do some more exfoliating at night. But with this product, I really can't use it in conjunction with other things like these. So I don't find myself using it. It does separate. You have to mix it up and it's just not the most convenient product to use. And it says to apply a lot to your face, but it's not like moisturizing. I don't understand. <laughs> so that stays out. It's cute and I do use it sometimes, um, but I do wish that I returned it because it's not my favorite. But one thing that I do really love is this Belief, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm, and I got this in a set. I have the cleansers too, which I really love, the Aqua Balm Cleanser. And this is the Thick White Cream. They do have one that's more like a gel. So this one, it's funny, because when I was in my early 20s, super oily, young skin, I never would have gotten a cream like this that's opaque, white, like really moisturizing. But now that I'm older, I really love and appreciate creams like this. And I just, I don't know. I love moisturizing now. So yeah, that's one thing that has really changed since getting older and I like it. I do feel like it runs out really fast. I feel like I'm more than halfway done. Maybe I take too much, but normally moisturizers last me a long time. So I really wish I could find a more affordable version of this when this runs out, but we shall see. It might be on to the next thing. The last step in my skincare routine is of course sunscreen. So this one is the Super Goop Zinc Screen. And I was so excited when this product came out because I love using a physical sunscreen. I was using the Drunk Elephant one, but for the summer, it definitely is a little bit heavier and I do have makeup products with sunscreen in them, but I still love to protect my neck. I don't put makeup on my neck. So this is awesome. It's SPF 40 and is a bit tinted, but it goes on completely clear, has no shimmer, which the other one did. So I think this is going to be like a staple in my skincare routine. I love it. I do have one more product that is turquoise back there that I'm not going to share with you guys yet because I'm still experimenting. It is on body acne. So if you want to see that video sooner than later, please let me know in the comments down below and I will really try to get it up for you. I'm really excited to talk about these things that I really care about. I feel like I've kind of let go and taken a step back from making skincare videos because yes, I am a skincare professional, but that's not my expertise. I do other things as an esthetician, but I still love skincare and makeup, but I really wanted to get back to making these kinds of videos because I miss it and I miss talking about skincare and telling you my thoughts. Yes, it is my like own experience, my own opinion, but I do think it can be helpful if you're in the same age range as me, if your skin is similar to mine um, from what you've heard. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts down below on making the acne video because I definitely will get that up. And I hope you're having a magical day and I'll see you next time. Bye.